What is thematic? This is often the first question I get asked when I tell people what I do. Little did I know, thematic was one of the most important and influential languages in the world. It was used in Egypt between 7th century BC and 5th century AD. And during that time, it was used to document everything. Medical text, science, philosophy, policies, legal documents, fiction, you name it. So as you can imagine, it is impossible to cover all these genres within one single PhD. So for my research, I've chosen to look at demotic stories. The stories that I'm working on, and there are nine in total, are all part of a series commonly known as the Inaros story cycle. It is called such because each story features either the hero Inaros or his family members. Within these stories, we have power, intrigue, seduction, romance, the first instance of female espionage, and giant, giant griffins. So put it this way, it was more epic than Game of Thrones. <laughs> My research involves a two-step process. The first is translation. I have to translate these texts from the original manuscript into English because no English translation currently exists for the entire story corpus. As you can see from the image on the left, this is no small task, especially when some of my texts are fragmentary. But don't worry, for the most part, they are complete. And this leads on to the second part of my analysis, where I'm looking at the composition of these stories, specifically the characterization and the narrative techniques used. We have very little evidence of these stories and the ancient society from which these stories were written. So this approach allows us to get a glimpse of ancient ideology and mentality. So based on how these stories were composed, we were able to deduce the ancient Egyptians' view of time, of their world, of human interactions, and much more. And so far, I have discovered that their thinking is much more complex and much more developed than we previously expected just by the way they phrase their sentences and how they make a story interesting. But hey, you might ask, where is this going to lead you? What is the point of studying a dead language? Now, there are very few people today who can read demotic in comparison to the overwhelming number of demotic texts still left unread throughout the world. And it is up to the few remaining demontists, such as myself, to translate these texts. There's no telling what secrets are hidden within this, this dead language and what impact and contribution it will have to our society today. Thus, the story of demotic lives on. Thank you.